Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. The VS3 loads in the mad. Now, apparently, I was completely ignoring what I was actually asked of me. Wait, that is not the wrong but right button. That is not right the button. Scan. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. That looks to be. Upstairs? I completely forgot this. I was asked about this, and it's not actually that difficult to get here. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. How do I do that? How do I disable this? That's meant to explode. Is this your containing facility? Is everything really that compact? Are there other things to check, or is that just the, or is that just one? Where is Raj? Uploading new analyses. All non relevant repair requests are currently on hold until power coupling is complete. Downloading new scanner data. What scanner data are you looking at? Do you have any panels here? Hi. Okay, actually, in I uh, investigate militia site, investigate Pathfinder HQ site. This is this is where you militia, right? Oh, that looks like it's already done its thing. And where is the Pathfinder HQ site? I'm certain, Professor. This is a panel. This is security. Where is that find the HQ? This is the tram. Hey. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. Yeah, I'm okay. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence. Eh, uh, it's understandable. She understands the stakes. If I fail, we... You won't. Let's hope not. You won't. That's the end of it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Sounds wise. But I'm not a wise man. In fact, I am just trying to understand where the thing is.
Ah. Why are you in Pathfinder HQ directed then? Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Okay. There's one. as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Oh. Well, <laughs> that... That doesn't sound like it's gonna end well. Okay, so I thought this part of the ship would be larger than this, but apparently not. Alright, what do we have? A Crusader. Ultra rare shotgun. An Omni Blade. Uh, escape. I have no idea what's going on with this yet. Hi. Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkan Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkan, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Well, your wife claims you're innocent. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Nargum's happened? Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them, but I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Don't throw in the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe I can find something that'll help. That would be great. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Well, I can certainly look into it. I thought he said Kandros, not Kandros. No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? Murder case, please. I spoke with Nilkan Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty? It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying? What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations, go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you queue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Alright. Well, I'm going to Bye, EOS. Andrews. I might find out the... Uh, calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Evidence. Sorry, miss. Yes. The Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to. 
That's not ideal. Security is on high alert right now. Is this because of the situation? Hi, Shaw. I'm here to talk to you. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Scott Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked white at Nilkin and shouted, no. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Brother get there? Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin regret it? Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. Why was this chief shocked? If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Did you agree with the chief? Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Thank you. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tian wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Well, I'm going back to Eos, so... Hello? Something I can help you with? The murder case! I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, We'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm here to serve. At least it's helpful. All right. What other quests do we have? We have station sabotage and first murder. No additional tasks right now. Allies and relationships, there's the missing arcs mission. Priority ops, there's a better beginning, so I need to go back to Hyperion. Which I do have to do anyway, because there's a bit of a problem there. Namely, there's a saboteur who is planning on exploding this entire fucking thing, apparently. Alright. That's really, really not ideal. And we still can't have a nap. Okay, this... Is this the right place? Are we in the Hyperion? I think we are. Like you are Sarah. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I've never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here, I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omni tool. Funny, Raj was investigating the same thing, and it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. 
The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. Okay. Hi, Captain. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. I should not keep my mouse on people's right heads. Going planet side, though. Eh. I'll miss him. Sure. I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. I haven't done anything yet. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. You're wrong? Now that the Hyperion is docked, what'll you do? Normally, I'd supervise thawing out the colonists, but that's been put on hold. I hear you're the one helping resolve the issue. Good luck with that. Expectations? If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Why did you join the Initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? Your shoulders are pitching a little, but that's okay. Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Thank you. Okay, where are the quarters that I seek? This is the same node. Let's, let's do Alex the samming. Welcome back to Sam node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... Pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. 
Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Oh. So... Yeah, yeah, Vanguard is what I was hoping to go for. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. I'm just gonna keep looking at uh, these options then. And I'm just gonna try and upgrade ranks as they go. Didn't I spend all your points? Not both of you still got one to keep. Because I'm not in seven, I don't get to be a vanguard Captain, proper, right? Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Interesting. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first contact war. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. I just picked up the Normandy, but there was no comment regarding the Normandy. What do we have here? What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. General Lux? The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sisters mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Okay, cool. Final entry? Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. DePero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. Can I int this? That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Okay, so... Let's log off this right now and pull the memory trigger. Sam, what was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. 
Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. All right. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. <laughs> I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. All right, handy. And this? When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. All right, are there more of uh, Liara's notes here? There, yeah, there are. When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. We must look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Yeah, this... She hadn't met the Brothian by, before, by then, at that point, even. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes. You will experience them via your implant. Okay. Something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. They don't want Sam. <sighs> Sam is a good boy. Alec? I think. Nope. Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. 
It's how Dad was wired. He didn't like to lose, in any situation. It would seem that included me. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories that they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Yes, it me would. more than you. Sam's location? I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. And this is condition? Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. All right, thanks. I will go check. That's all for now. Of course. Check the audio logs. And then... I think we will go back to the Nexus. Your father's personal logs. Yes. Oh, Ellen's disease. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. So he was planning on using Sam to... Keep her alive? Or... Integrate Ellen into Sam? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching! I'll see you next time and we will go back to the Nexus and... Catch the Saboteur! And also probably actually start making our way towards Eos. Yeah. Bye bye!